Yo, this is my second video. Um, yeah, so, uh, this is how, this is how it's pretty much gonna go down. Yeah, uh, pretty much gonna tell you the little secret for the reason why I have those four tidal waves on there. Yeah, it's pretty much, yeah. It doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter, but it's more like it's not a big deal. It's just a little secret on how to get a whole bunch of greed. Learn a little technique from a whole bunch of people on YouTube. You could have found this out yourself, but, uh,. I'm pretty much going to show you like a little better small summary of it because seeing them do it is a lot easier. Me telling them it may be a lot easier even more, but um, maybe it might be a little bit more complicated. I don't really care, but it's pretty much a better summary, I guess, if it helps. It goes down like this. This, this is the cut down. I'm going to slice it down and show a few. Light magic. That's the first thing you need to have for Rita. Second thing is minimum damage. And the third thing is spell end. Reason why you need those, number one. Rita needs to be able to cast the spells over and over after using it. Number two, you need to be taking one HP in order to get constant chains. And, uh, light magic. Number three, you gotta make sure that you're not consuming a lot of TP when you're doing it, I guess. That's for, for light magic. Those are the three reasons why you need those three, three skills. And like I said before, those three skills are required, so you have to have them in order to do this. Um... Though there's uh, certain weapons that you can customize at the item shop in order to get those skills, in order to learn them afterwards, yeah, you gotta get that. Tidal Wave, yeah, you need that attack in order to do this. It's called the Tidal Wave Extravaganza, that's what I call it. That's my nickname for it. I don't own, I don't own the technique, I just use it. Um, let's see, the blah, blah, blah. Um, hmm, let me see, let me see, let me see. I kind I would advise you to have the Shizel's Necklace, but you ain't gonna get that till after you beat the Labyrinth of Memories. I just have the Shazel necklace on because I feel like it's a lot easier to have on anyway. And it's, pre it's a pretty damn cool item to have for anybody that you want to cast uh, quick spells. Like a Stellarita, since they're the only two that really cast the spells. Um, and maybe Raven too. Raven, I don't really count Raven. He's, in, he's a bowman, so I couldn't care less about him. No offense to the Raven people out there. Raven's fucking awesome, no offense. Uh, still, no offense. Uh... Let's see, uh, yeah, those three, uh, skills are required, tidal waves required, you need certain weapons in order to get those skills so you can get those required skills. Um, that aside, let's jump to the little summary as to how to do this, you ready? Okay, let me get my TP up there right quick. Legit, everything in here is legit, I just pretty much put 99 items on my next gameplay. Levels are legit, I pretty much, uh, would train in the Labyrinth of Memories, um, yeah, pretty much getting a double battle right quick. This is how you get it now. Let Rita get a little fun of Tidal Wave right quick. Blah, 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 blah. Again. No offense, I won't lie. This is kind of boring, but... Hell. I swear to God, as boring as it is, it still helps. Alright, let's get started. One, two, three, four... See that? Keep it going. Then hit the bar and keep going. I'm not gonna do what the other guys get on the gameplay and keep on doing it until I eventually run out. I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you the cut down summary on how to do it. Yeah, I know I stopped pretty uh, really, really early, but it's pretty much that's all you gotta do. Just keep it going for as long as possible. And don't let the number hit one. Keep on doing it. Try not to stop, because the second it hits one, stop, right there. As long as you feel like you've done enough, like you got up to like 300 or 1,000, yeah, stop right there and finish the battle with some Fatal Strikes. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And once you feel like you've got at a high enough number and the chains at a really high number, like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, around there, and you feel like the number is pretty high, stop it, finish, the fatal, uh, finish it up with Tidal Wave, do some Fatal Strikes with Rita, and then end the battle and check out the number of grades you get. And I guarantee you that grade will be freaking monstrous. I swear to God it will. It really will though.